great honors being a member of Congress is sending young people to our service academies, to Merchant Marine, Air Force Academy, to Annapolis for the Navy or West Point for the Army. And uh, what our process is, is that every year we get about maybe 30 to 50 inquiries and then we have an application, it's a pretty long application. That thins down the number to maybe 20 to 25 and those students are interviewed by a panel, and our panel are people who have military backgrounds, education backgrounds, we have homemakers, we have business people, we have a judge on there. So, you know, but they're tough questions. We ask each candidate some very tough questions because we believe they're going to be in life and death situations, and it's something that it's, it's, you know, if they're thinking about going to West Point or maybe going to University of Georgia or Georgia Tech, they probably should go to Georgia Tech or Georgia because the military life isn't what they want. What they want is a scholarship, and we're not in the scholarship business. We were in the business of getting people and getting the best people for our military. Um, sadly, over the course of years, we lost lost two of our people who were killed in action. So, uh, you know, we, we don't apologize for being tough, but we also were able to keep a large number of them in school. Once they enrolled, they actually graduated, and in many cases, they went on to have military careers. Just a, it's just a great, great view of some of the brightest kids in the uh, uh, school system today. I'll never forget one young man, he, I think he had all A's except for one I, an incomplete, and we had a, a military general on the board that year, and he said, son, I have to ask you, you've got all A's, but you got this one I. Now this I speaks volume to me because it would appear to me when you took an I, an incomplete in senior algebra, that you were going south on your grade and you wanted to have protection of, of your GPA and so your grade point average, so you, so you actually dropped out of algebra so that you get an I instead of a, a C or a D. And he said, well, sir, actually um, my math teacher came to me and said algebra wasn't what I needed. I needed calculus and the only way I could get a calculus uh, class was to take it at Georgia Southern University, so I had dropped out of senior algebra to, to transfer. And the general said, uh, "No further questions, son." And and you know you have you just have some really great kids. And on the two that we lost, let me say this: I went back and looked at their files, of the letters that they wrote us when they were a senior in high school, and how much they wanted to serve their country, and how much they believed in America and the values of America, and. Uh, that they, if they lost their life, it would be something that they would consider still worthwhile if they had the opportunity to serve. And that's the caliber of students that we were able to, to uh, select. And I was very saddened by their deaths, but I'm still very proud of the process.